Central Management Console or CMC. The Central Management Console allows you to create and manage business objects, enterprise, users, and groups. It also enables you to publish, organize, and set security levels for all of your business objects enterprise. You can perform administrative tasks in CMC such as creating and managing users and groups, publishing, scheduling, and managing web reports, crystal, OLAP files, as well as third-party documents and hyperlinks, managing universes, managing performance management application, and modifying business objects enterprise application. In this tutorial, we'll do a quick overview of Central Management Console. We'll go over the basic concept of Central Management Console and what are the basic functions of CMC. After logging in with the admin credentials in CMC, it takes you to a home page where all the menu items are listed. These menu items can be accessed via different methods. All the menu items are listed here in, in the small icon on the left-hand panel bar, as well as there is a drop-down list of all the items. The first option in CMC is folders. Under folders, it will display all the folders which are under public folders. You can control the security of a folder from CMC by right-clicking and looking at all the options. You can move, copy, look at the properties of the folder, do the user security of the folder using CMC. As you can see, when you hover over an option, it displays the name of that particular menu item. The next item is personal folders. This is also called favorites when, when you're accessing the web reports. These are the user's folder and what users are storing in it. You can control the access of these folders from CMC as well. You can also create categories, personal categories using CMC. Using the users and groups menu item, you can create new user and new group and control their authorization and authentication using CMC. You can also create profiles for the users. Next item in the menu bar is inboxes. The inbox is used to receive all the scheduled items in business objects environment. The next option is servers. It displays a list of all the services running in your business objects environment. The next option is the replication list. The next option is the federation. Using this option, you can maintain or sync multiple business objects environment. Next option is query results. Using this option, you can query users authorization and authentication to do more research on it. Next option is access levels. This will be more discussed when we talk about user creating new users and groups. Calendars. Calendars is, is used for custom events. So if you want to schedule a report on a specific day, a specific business, uh, business day, we can create a, a specific business calendar here and use this calendar to schedule the reports. Events is where you, where you create an event and use it during scheduling and when the event comes true the scheduler runs instance manager shows you if you uh, if you have any recurring jobs schedule or how many reports are uh, scheduled at a time 
applications. Using this menu item, you can change the settings of different business objects applications. For example, BI Launchpad, Crystal Reports, Explorer, Information Designer, um, SAP Streamwork, etc. Next one is just a setting which shows you all, all your databases and setting in the business objects environment. The next option down is session. It shows you who is logged in and what time they're, they're logged in into the system. The next option is authentication. Here you can define what kind of authentication uh, you want to use for your business objects environment. The next option is license keys. The next option is universes. Here it lists all the universes you're using in your environment. You can also control the security of the universes uh, from here. Connections. This lists all the connections in your business objects environment. Web, web service query. Here you can control this, the query as web service application. OLAP connections. Same as the connections before, this lists your OLAP connections. There are many other options under CMC as well, like user attribute management, visual difference, auditing, monitoring, promotion management, and version management.